Welcome to the party, ladies and gentlemen. It's master mode time, finally. So let's waste no time whatsoever and get right into this. I'm gonna do my best to make a wee little Jevons for us to, to play as here. This is the hairstyle I normally go with, and that's not far off of looking like me, I'd say. <laughs> I like all the new beards. I wanna go with the craziest looking beard. Yeah, this one, longest beard. Yep, perfect. This is our guy. That looks like Jevons if I've ever seen him. All right, so we've got our character. Let's go ahead, we'll create a new map here. What's fitting for a master mode? The Dangerous Rapids? Yeah, that's about right. Play in a medium world? Yeah, probably. We are going to play on journey mode. Uh, this is a master mode playthrough and all the journey mode stuff that allows you to like research infinite items and stuff. We're not going to be using that at all. We are just going to be playing this as though it's a master mode playthrough. I made an offer at the end of the Thorium Healer series that I'm sticking with. If we can get the channel to 1000 subscribers before I can beat Moon Lord in this series, I will crank up the mob spawning all the way to max. That's 10 times the normal mob spawning rate. So yeah, a little incentive for you guys to hit subscribe if you haven't already. So we're gonna be playing on journey mode, but we will be setting it to master mode. We'll ditch all of our starter items and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna pick a Crimson World, uh, cause I wanna fight the Brain of Cthulhu. Brain of Confusion got a buff and I think, I don't know, I play Corruption Worlds too much, so let's play some Crimson. It's time. All right, so let's get rid of all this stuff. Wow, a lazy iron hammer. I'm keeping that hammer, <laughs> so why not? We're gonna start with iron tools just cause it doesn't really matter, but we do need to trash the wings and all that good stuff. So we also need to set our difficulty up to master mode, beautiful. No increase, increased placement range. So this is the slider I'm talking about. If we hit that 1k subs, 10 times mob spawning. I think we're all set up. This should be master mode settings. If I missed anything, just let me know. So we're gonna chop down some wood to get us started here. And then we're gonna go do a little bit of exploring. Wanna take down our first boss today. I want to get some accessories. We're going to need some accessories to fight Master Mode King Slime. Basically just getting our journey started here. We're not doing a class playthrough on this one. We will be doing Master Mode class playthroughs after this series. Uh, so let me know in the comments which class you'd like to see first. Uh, yeah, I was kind of thinking the summoner class might be fun just with all the new, all the new summon weapons, all the whips and all that jazz. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at that short sword. The slime is dancing circles around me. Holy cow. So we have some wood. Let's go ahead and build ourselves our very first workbench and see what kind of stuff we can get. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Shoddy wooden sword. No, no thanks. Uh, pointy. Yeah, I'm not going to be too finicky about this as far as modifiers go, but I certainly don't want shoddy. Uh, given that we are in master mode, I'm gonna go ahead and craft us some wooden armor. This is something I don't normally do because it doesn't usually really add that much, but I mean, we're here and we're getting slammed by slimes. We may as well, yeah, I'll switch out my hammer. Goodbye, lazy hammer. We'll grab some stone. I wanna find a cave, so let's just go on a little adventure here. We'll stick with our short sword until we can find Arranged option. It looks like we have an oasis right next to us. Should we fight this guy? Ooh, this might have been a bad idea. 120 points of hit points on the vultures now <laughs> in master mode. This in and of itself is a boss fight. This is like uh, the not so grand Thunderbird. So we have an oasis. This is a new mini biome and I'm absolutely in love with it. Such a nice, convenient pre-made fishing spot. And we have a pyramid. Ooh without a doubt going to be the Pharaoh's set. A lot of times I play on like small maps, so pyramids don't really spawn all that much. Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh, Muns. <laughs> the Muns. Oh my gosh, 11 gold. We got a flying carpet. Oh no way. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. What an amazing mobility item. Wow, okay. We definitely need to find a place to put that money before I go down here and get ourselves killed, but you can see what we're doing. Big old pyramid. Oh my gosh, look how big this thing is. Oh, and it opens up into the desert. Yeah. I am going to put my money back. Okay, so we're gonna run back to base here so that at the very least I'm back by my spawn and can get a little bit of help from the guide. <laughs> can you imagine he's just hanging out at the the spawn and sees me getting chased by this bird? He's like, what are you doing? 
Uh, but this is going to wrap up the first day, so that's definitely good. Thank you, guide. I'm gonna quickly toss a little safety box up here for the night time. So this is gonna be our first little house. We're gonna zip ahead. We'll wait till morning and we'll carry on with the adventure. See if we can find ourselves some accessories on the surface. Should we just try to like ninja some shade wood out of here? I mean, that's a good call, right? Let's see how far we can get into this. Oh, and there's a face monster. And there's more things. We're definitely gonna die to these things. Almost no ranged options. <laughs> I got a little bit of shade wood. I'm wondering if I can run in there and grab a couple more of those trees and maybe upgrade our armor and bow real quick. All right, so here we go. We are on Operation Steel Shadewood. <laughs> no, we we totally have this. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, here we go. Nice little quiet clearing. The calm before the storm. And I think that should be enough. So what I want to do now, I want to cut down some normal trees and basically get an arena set up over somewhere, somewhere around here. Um, I know we don't have a whole lot yet, but you kind of don't need it for King Slime. Might regret saying that later, <laughs> but 10 to 15. Hey, there's the merchant. There's my dude. So we should do a few layers here. Typically you only need one if you have a jumping accessory, but I don't. Right now we're rocking that hot defense score of three. Uh, and I'd like to boost that up a little bit. 20, 50, 75. We do have enough for a full Shadewood armor set, so we'll go ahead and do this. Look at us with our five defense. Beautiful. That's about it. We got all of our ammo, tons of torches, glow sticks, piggy bank, bug net. I think we are good to go. So we're going to wait out the rest of night time. We don't have too much longer. And then we'll head out and see what kind of stuff we can find. We'll get some crafting stations set up, I think. And then, yeah, we should be ready for King Slime. So we'll see if we get a slime rain uh, here fairly soon. So we're going to skip through night and see what tomorrow morning holds. Uh, we have two chests here while I was rambling on. Let's see what we get. Oh, what is this? We got the step stool and it's armored. This is the tankiest step stool you've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. Uh, get some odds and ends, mining potion, a little bit of cash, and some wood. That's a really nice addition. I love that you can find wood in the chest now. Looks like we have another one here, and this one has climbing claws. My gosh, what a lucky playthrough. Let's take a look. It looks like we found our jungle. I'm wondering... Oh, <laughs> look at this. A little chest hiding in the shadows here. Let's take a look what's in this one. A wand of sparking. Ooh, ooh, and a gold portal? rich as heck in this playthrough <laughs> we found like what do we find we found like 10 gold from the pyramid we just found 10 there so rich crit strike on a uh, book about plant cordage uh, and there's a pinky we are rich yeah so it looks like that room underneath <gasps> no <laughs> no Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Well, okay, so we now have... Look at him go! Oh man, I haven't done a summoner run in a long time. So it's fun to have some summon weapons. Let's see what's down at the bottom of this. Living tree. Oh, there's a crimson altar. Hmm, beautiful. Is that more money? Oh my gosh, we're rich! We are rich. This is by far the wealthiest playthrough I've ever had. Oh, okay, so we got some living wood wands, pretty cool. I think the nestling staff or the hashling staff, whatever it's called, I think that one does spawn in these living trees. We do have, ooh, there's another chest. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a gnome. We got iron skin. Man, this is a fantastic playthrough. Ooh, hurtful mace. Yeah, absolutely. 20 points of melee damage. So, unless my map shows something interesting here, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and head back to base and do some crafting. Because we've got loads of stuff that we need to deal with here. So, I'm going to toss the recall on. It is in the middle of the day. What else do we have here? Let's sort this out. Oh, and we already have 15 silver bars. Ooh, that's like 60 ore for free. All right. So, it looks like we've got 30 silver, 48 lead. As is the rule, you upgrade your pickaxe first. Uh, it's just always a good idea. 
to have the latest pickaxe. We can sell that one for a bit of money. Eh, they get that one to me for free. We'll just trash it. This new item uh, I'm very excited for. I haven't seen anybody talk about the grate allows liquids to pass through, but not it's still, like it still collides. I can't imagine what kind of cool traps and like farms and stuff we can use that for, but I think we can make some cool stuff. So we might experiment with that a little bit later. Can we get a good modifier on some white string hasty. That will work. We are basically ready. The only thing we haven't found that would have been nice would be would be the stuff for a slime crown. So if slime ring doesn't happen on the next day cycle, I think I'm going to go out and search for some rubies if I can somehow manage to find some of that. If not, we'll probably just fast forward until slime ring does happen because it should be happening soon, I think. So let's zip ahead. Let's get to this fight. Another chest. My gosh. So as of right now, we have five out of our six accessories filled. Another set of climbing claws, but these ones are quick. I think what we'll do, we'll jump up here. Gosh, movement mechanics with climbing claws and the flying carpet. Bizarre. Another chest? My gosh, they're everywhere. We got this one, Aglet. Ooh, I am speed. Hey, slime's falling from the sky. Let's go back home. Master mode slime rain is kind of no joke. <laughs> it's, it's pretty brutal. So we really need to kind of hustle and kill some slimes here. There he is. Okay. Buff's on. Where is he? He's over to our left. So he is definitely... The AI is definitely a lot better now. Uh, wow. Okay, so I think we maybe need some vertical mobility there. Uh, or a longer runway. Uh, and of course, King Slime does deal basically the highest damage of any pre-hard mode boss besides, I think, I don't remember if Skeletron, I think Skeletron's spinning head deals more, but I think Wall of Flesh is really the only one that overall deals more damage than King Slime. Yeah, when you're this low on health, you kind of get one and done <laughs> with King Slime if you get hit by him. Uh, which, you know, I neglected to remember. Hopefully this chest isn't trapped. Good, good. Ooh, ooh, warding band of regen. So good. We'll figure out what to do with that uh, in a second. I was just kind of hanging out in base, and I thought, well, maybe I'll check the map and see if we found any platinum that I didn't see. And this little vein over here seems to be at least a few blocks. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but I figure we can jump back down here, cut across this little platform, and then head up here really quick and check and see how much platinum that is. I don't remember how many platinum bars we have, but if we can get to a total of five, we can craft our slime crown. How many do we have in here? Yes, we have enough. Beautiful. So we have, I believe, everything that we need. So let's do what we couldn't do the first time and fight King Slime. Are you all ready for this? Master mode boss, number one. I'm going to surround my mini-map so I know where he spawns. Buff's on. Let's get him going. Arena's much, much bigger, as you can see. Uh, but of course, when he teleports, you still need to be on your game. Ooh, he can pass through platforms now. Not too bad so far. Take out the blue slimes or the spiky slimes. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe now King Slime is kind of a two-layer platform boss. It used to be as long as you had some movement speed items that you could pretty much take on King Slime with just a single long row of platforms. And to be fair, you really did need it to be longer than what we made it originally. But yeah, I I think maybe now with the the buff to this guy, and especially in master mode, it might be worth waiting to get a hook and and that kind of thing. You certainly could beat this without a hook, but uh, you just needed a longer runway than what we gave ourselves originally. Do we have... S oh, Slimy's dealing with all the little slimes, which is actually kind of solid. So our summon is doing great work on crowd control. <laughs> Much appreciated, Slimy. Oh, there's a hit, and... Oh boy, get out of the way. Uh... Oh, and the Blood Moon's rising? There really couldn't be a worse time for that. I'm going to finish this out with our uh, with our bow, just because it's what I'm most comfortable with, I think. And the Blood Moon is rising, and I really don't want to have to go get a different slime crown. 
Uh, so let's see how we do. We're almost there. 800 health. But if we keep getting hit by slimes, that's not going to go well. 600 health. He's going down slowly but surely. Oh, not the ice slimes. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Come on, hit the boss. Good grief. Uh, yeah, King Slime, even though it is the kind of the first boss you really deal with, um, it certainly teaches you a very valuable lesson in Terraria, and that's don't get hit. Because <laughs> uh, he does deal an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage, and this fight's actually kind of tough now. I gotta say, I'll, I'll hand it to him, it feels much more balanced. Obviously, tons and tons of damage from King Slime. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Ow, ow! <laughs> no, don't kill me now. Okay, so that is Master Mode Boss number one down. Let's see what kind of treasure we got here after we clear out all of these stupid slimes. Uh, so what I do want to do is make sure that we have enough lenses to fight Eye of Cthulhu next episode, because I think we're more or less powered up enough to fight it. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's see what we got. We have our King Slime Trophy. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. All right, so there is our King Slime Master Mode Trophy. Boss number one down, very cool. We have the Royal Delight, which is a little Master Mode exclusive pet. I think this is only a one in four drop, so... Excellent stuff. We got our little King Slimy uh, to go with our little Fighter Slimy. <laughs> And finally, of course, we have our expert mode treasure bag. And let's take a look, see what we got. We got the royal gel. Uh, this can't actually be worn in vanity anymore, which is kind of lame, but that's okay. So we got the solidifier. We got the slime gun, as always. And we have a couple of the ninja set. And these are actually better than our current armor. So let's go ahead and toss those. And we got the slimy saddle, man. We got all the good stuff. We are slimed to the max. We've got a baby slime out of our slime staff. We've got the slimy saddle and, of course, the royal delight. So we will be accompanied in the next episode by three separate friendly slimes. And it will be time to take on Eye of Cthulhu with them in tow. So we got some really nice upgrades today. Did a lot of really fun stuff. I'm probably just going to finish out this Blood Moon here. If we get anything interesting, I'll talk about it at the beginning of the next episode. But that's going to wrap it up for today. Remember, if we can get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of this series, I will turn on 10x Multiplier uh, to make the mob spawning even crazier. And we will beat Moonlord with 10 times the amount of minions on screen. So if you guys just want to see that, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you all next time.